Alrighty. Welcome back to, to Dr. Stone. Anime Review episode number 20. Not a surprise we're getting to this number. Because it seems like a lot of my anime reviews get, get to this particular far. Yeah. Not surprised here with this one. So, <clears throat> with this particular one, we are discussing episode 40 for the series. Yes, episode 40. And that is... Eye of Science. Excuse me. This episode adapts from chapters 96, 97. Excuse me. They say the first six pages, more like the first seven pages of chapter 98. And I did check. Next week's episode, episode 41, will be the conclusion to this particular arc. And then 42 will start up the very next arc, which of the remaining arcs of the series... That is the longest one. Yeah, next one is like 38 chapters. Which, who, who, uh, I'm thinking it definitely, since it will, since I already started this particular arc already in Japan, I'm sure we probably will end the season with this particular arc. That's just my theory anyways. So, what happens to this episode? Well, we pick up where we left the last time where they're hearing all the why stuff. Of course, they debrief everybody about it. Of course, they try to do next. Like, oh yeah, let's, let's hit the four generals. Let's let the 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 scientist the, let's let the let's let Sengoku, who's a scientist, Chrome, another scientist. We also have the mentalist, uh, <laughs> Ryusu, the sailor, and is let's see, it's those three. And here's the thing about these guys. Oh yeah, and also the archers there too. Four of these five guys were previously petrified. Chrome was the only one in this room who's not been petrified. He has not experienced all the rest of that, but he, he hasn't. So. And, of course, they decided to make something interesting. Of course, they also make a new workshop there, too, in, in the Full Martingus Empire. They make a version of radar and sonar. Yep. And as soon as they, and they attach their boat, of course, they show off how it works, which I do appreciate that. And they take out the sea, and they catch a whole bunch of fish. And France, Francois decided to cook up a bunch of fish food. Well, fish stuff, anyways. Everybody eats it. so delicious. So... Then, of course, basically, like, then we have Chrome. Come an interesting idea with this particular thing, after everybody that's all rich chatting. He decides to make a metal detector. No, seriously, he makes metal detector all his own. So Goku did not give him this idea at all. Chrome gave himself this idea using copper and make it detect, basically, metal. And he tests some rocks he previously found. And he goes back to a mountain, which apparently they did use this particular mountain way back in season one for the show. And they said, oh yeah, the capture lightning, which is from season one of the show. So he goes back to them, he goes inside. Then of course, basically, at, and he looks on the mountain for a while and he eventually discovers what looking for. Calls everybody in and basically, just basically creates a mine. Yes, a mine. Where they proceed to make metal look like steel beams. Yes, according to Sengoku, that thanks to finding this mine, the Stone Age has entered the manufacturing age. Not necessarily to make more cars per se, but to make actual steel stuff. And what's the first thing to do with this stuff instead of using for maybe for oil? They use it to make a freaking road. Yes, they they cover this road with asphalt. Normally, it takes one machine moving very slowly, which that part is true. Here they have three people, well, it's like two guys and a woman, who are very much, who basically, for, and, and actually, they first used the power squad to basically make this particular robe. So Goku's like, yeah, make, making that kind of roads would just take too much time, so just just do shorter roads for now. They might do more later on, who knows. Then, of course, we actually have the boat, a boat crew, basically transporting back to where they need to go. And, uh, I'm trying to think, what's anything else? Yeah. Hmm, excuse me. Yeah. Um, yeah, Suiku herself, basically, Suiku, she is so fun in this episode. Her, Sarah just seems like this episode, she just had a blast recording those lines. That's one thing I can definitely tell with this episode. I've, well, of all the episodes I've heard her so far, this is probably the one episode she probably enjoyed doing the most of this whole series. I don't know, but that's just my purse, it doesn't matter. Yep. But still, damn good episode. 
and next week will be the finale for this big arc and go on to the Treasure Island arc, which that one should be interesting because they've been teasing the characters for that particular arc in the Open House sequence for quite a while. And something called Age of Exploration, they haven't really gone on much of anywhere. You'll place they've gone just outside the shoreline of what, what used to be Japan. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, and of course, they do give a recap of what happened at the very start of the series, which I do appreciate them doing that. Which, of course, basically, if you're new to the series, that's a good, good way to get people, new viewers in, which is good on the studio doing that. Yep. Though, <laughs> and doesn't everything is quite strange that the five smart people are made of four people who are previously petrified and someone from the current Stone Age, who's smart too. Yeah, that is quite strange. I like the fact the character Nikki, I, I like the fact she got a lot in this episode. Because she hasn't done that much in the series so far. Here she did a lot. Which is good on the part of this episode and that. Yep, so. How to make the radar. Use a flask. Basically with some paint. Make a version of paint in the bottom. And then, of course, just fire some electrons and create a radar. Yep. But that's pretty much it for this episode. Just really good. Now, I was thinking we were in case because there's no time. So I'll you tomorrow now. I did check this. There is no new episode of One Piece tomorrow. There will be new chats for release in manga. Yep. Manga's coming out tomorrow, but not the actual anime. So, I have roughly about three anime to work on tomorrow, which will be Demon Slayer, Eden Zero, and, of course, now Case Closed. And here's something interesting to know. Two out of three of those on Crunchyroll. The other one I have watched on the website. But this will be pretty much the particular view. Next up is going to be a common corner. I'll call it a night. Okay, next view.